Now, today's top stories and Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good morning, I'm Danita Harris. I'm Mike Brookbank. Here's a look at your top local stories. Tonight, Accra City Council will have its third reading on a citizen oversight board. It was introduced by council earlier this month, and it stems from several officer-involved shootings in the city this year, including the deadly shooting of Jalen Walker back in June. Council will likely vote on the matter this evening. If it passes, applications to join the citizen oversight board would open immediately. Tonight, Cleveland City Council expected to introduce an ordinance authorizing funds to bring direct flights from Cleveland to Dublin, Ireland. The city is looking to use $600,000 to have the flights available here for three years. Council is not expected to vote on the measure tonight. Right now, Ohio Task Force One is down south preparing for Hurricane Ian. The 47-person team headed down over the weekend. Their first stop, Valdosta, Georgia. Then they made a stop in Athens, Tennessee before heading to Alabama. Ohio Task Force One says this is a fluid situation and they are ready to jump into action wherever aid is needed. And Trent, you said this Ian is looking pretty strong. Yeah, definitely a strong, uh, strong and strengthening storm. Uh, we may get in on some uh, remnants of Ian Sunday, maybe Monday of, uh, you know, through the late weekend, early next week. But today it's all about rain for us, not associated with the tropics at all. We're talking about some cool air, low 60s, upper 50s, and quite a bit of rain, even some thunder with this activity. So we've got flood watches in effect for later on today. Main batch pulling out this morning, another round rolling in for this afternoon and evening. So make sure you're patient on the streets. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.